Because yeah, like Salford is the only Catholic, one of the only Catholic cities. You know, we don't have a Church of England cathedral like Manchester. Ours is a Catholic cathedral, and the the reason why Salford Cathedral was built is because all the Catholic women, not the men, gave in their wedding rings. Yeah, their gold, their wedding rings. Not the men, just the women had to hand in their wedding rings and that's how they built it. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, it's a magical place. Both of them and Manchester are quite magical. I mean, these are like magical stories. Well, Clockwork Onnings came from Salford. Yeah. Right? He did, didn't he? The writer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anthony Burgess was yeah. a Salford kid. Yeah. And all that bunny, all that Bunston, Matt Jab and Matt Jab and all that lot in Clockwork Onnings, that's in the book, was actually the, the, the language which is going about for all the local scallies, yeah, all the yeah, gangsters yeah. And, yeah. and all the people on the street. All that language that they're using in Clockwork Orange is what Burgess got off the street in Salford. Yeah. You know, where it's a, you know, it's this or it's that or it's a, a Newton or whatever. And that was just under code language that was going about and Burgess put that all into Clockwork Orange. Oh yeah, oh God, dude, listen. It, here's a story, right? Just after Custer's Massacre, in 1870-something, or whatever it was, 1880-odd, right? So all the Red Indians was rounded up in the Sioux. But Buffalo Bill came along and put this circus together, right? So they went around the fucking world performing. And he had the, like, the Sioux Nation and this and that, right? And he was going, no, sorry, I've got that wrong there. This was just before the massacre, right? So just before what happened at Little Big Horn. So all the Sioux and all that lot are around, and they, they're going around from city to city and they come over to England and they do London and they do everywhere, right? And then while they're visiting, the massacre happened at Little Big Horn. And some of the Sioux had come over and joined Buffalo Bill's Circus, right? Joined Buffalo Bill's Circus. I've got, we've got photographs of this right now. Uh, and, and so then they started hunting them down as war crimes. So they're trying to track them in London, they're trying to track them here. And eventually, right, they turned up in Manchester, but they parked where the River Earwell is on, in Salford, just down here, right? It's a big island. And it reminded them of their own. So they all set up camp. And these pictures from the fucking 1870s and 80s, right, of all these wigwams set up in Salford, right? Loads of them all set up in Salford. You've got, one of them was called Surrounded by Enemies. Right, the chief was called Surrounded by the Enemy, which was Elliot Rashman who took that name when he managed Simply Red, and that was his company, Surrounded by the Enemy. And he was like fucking nearly seven foot, this guy, this fucking Indian, right? Surrounded by the Enemy, that was it. And these photos of him, he stood there on this island next to the Earwell with all the teepees, right? And they settled in Salford to see, right? And fucking thousands of them just disappeared. They disappeared. They couldn't find them. And the Salford people who were all like these fucking against, you know, and all that lot, against the authorities. Yeah, yeah. so they hid them. And they couldn't find them. So they didn't get shipped back home for war crimes and loads of them stayed. They wouldn't go home and the Salford people wouldn't let them fucking go. <laughs> and they married into the community. Oh, they married into the community and everything. It's bizarre, no one's made a movie about this. Let's do a shot. It's fucking. Make it. Nobody's waiting to be made, innit? <laughs>